Hey there, it's Alan from MindVisionMedia.net and once again I got a great tutorial for you. This one is going to basically show you how to modify the menu. I get a lot of requests for this um, as most of you do. You end up changing your background color or your uh, graphics are a different color and you kind of want things to match and your menu is stuck with this default color scheme right here. Well, today I'm going to show you how to align it to the right and also change the colors. Okay, so this will be a little bit intimidating for some because we're going to be jumping into um, our editor which is located in, in uh, your dashboard your responsive theme dashboard under appearance and editor. Alright, and we're going to be editing the style sheet today. Basically, you should be working in a child theme, or as I always suggest, click inside the file, press Control A, Control C, make a copy, paste it into your text editor like Notepad, and save a copy just in case you make some mistakes or break your code. Alright, so we want to go over here to the right, once you're in the editor, scroll down to your style sheet. Okay. I'm in HD and my window's small, so bear with me. Alrighty, so we're in our style CSS. We should be working on a copy or have a copy of your uh, original file in case you make mistakes. Alright, so we're going to be looking for that section. The menu bar, the navigation bar, or whatever you want to call it. For this uh, tutorial, I'll just use the term menu. So once again, we're going to put the menu on the right and change the colors. Okay, so we're going to look for that in CSS. And I just know from being in this file and it's pretty pretty good ways down um, not too far uh, we're getting close <coughs> excuse me just getting over a little cold let's see yep getting close getting close titles Ah, top menu, but we want the header menu. There it is. Header menu primary. If you're using Notepad, Notepad++ or a, um, a good text editor, you'll have line numbers. And uh, basically, um, you'll be able to find it around uh, a line 1170. Another shortcut is... Um, if you open up the file and you're up here at the top, if you press Control F, a window will open up called Find. Okay, while you're in WordPress, and you could type header in you primary. Do a find there you go leave off the primary part because that's in parentheses so you would have to put it in exactly like that but if you just type in header menu and click find next boom it'll bring you right to it okay so two ways you can scroll down and look for it kind of familiarize yourself with the code which is kind of what I suggest but if you're in a hurry you can go ahead and press control F as in Frank and type in header menu and it'll bring you right to the section that we're going to be editing today alright so now that we're here um, I want to change the color and I also want to align it to the right so there's several sections we're going to have to edit today just pay attention um, you can pause the video and rewind it, and that's the beauty of YouTube. Alright, so first thing I want to do, since I'm at the header menu primary, this is the 
colors and background features of the current menu. If you notice, it has kind of a gradient background when you hover over it. It's got a kind of a light border around each button and so forth. So we're going to change that whole scheme right there. And the rest of this bar is the same color. Okay, so we're going to change all of that. So I'm going to start with this right here. And I just have some color codes off the top of my head I'm going to use. But you can use whatever hexadecimal web safe color code you want. Okay. I'm going to use that, which is kind of a bright color. And let's see. Now you're going to have to get rid of some stuff, basically. But don't worry, because you have a copy. Or you're working on a copy. Right? Right. So we're going to get rid of this background image because it's a gradient and it's going to interfere with our new color showing up. So basically, I'm going to get rid of that. Now you could keep this and meticulously enter new hexadecimal codes for a new gradient if you want. If you notice, all of these are the same. It goes from 585858 to 3D, 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 585858 to 3D, 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 and all the way down. Okay, that's a consistency on the gradient. And this is broken down. You have the top, left top, and left bottom. You got the um, top, you have the uh, other side of the top, basically. And all, everything's broken down into splices. I'm not going to go into splices, but basically that's kind of what this is. The background for the menu is broken down into individual pieces of an image that complete the whole background and gradient. But we're going to get rid of that. Okay, but you could go in and change all these hexadecimal codes and create your own gradient right here without getting rid of this code that we're going to get rid of. But for today, I'm just going to use solid colors. So I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to leave this clear both code. Um, that definitely uh, needs to stay in there to help um, with the alignment. Um, so don't touch that. But this filler, or filter, I'm sorry, that's also part of that gradient. Here it is again. Start color and end color. So we definitely want to get rid of that filter. Just the filter, not the margin. Okay. Delete that. And we're going to keep going. We're going to scroll down. See what else has a color attached to it. We're looking for hexadecimal codes for the menu. Okay, we're in the menu section. And we're going to slowly scroll down. Ah, here's something. Menu. Hover. Here's a color we don't want. Now, for the hover color, we're going to make it something different. Um, let's see. But you put in whatever hexadecimal code you want. I'm just demonstrating how to change all of this stuff. And here we go again. Here's the border. Okay. For the... <coughs> Um, menu items. We definitely want to change that. I'm going to make it the same color as my background color. That way it doesn't uh, contrast and look funny. Now one thing I forgot to do when we were up here at the very start of the menu and I got rid of all that code and changed the basic background color was I forgot to go ahead and align it right which is right a couple of lines below the main background color for the menu under header menu primary right here float left we're going to change that to right okay just that simple and now let's go back down I apologize I skipped right over that but uh, let's go back down to where we just left off. Okay, we change that to the primary background color. And 
let's see, oh no, we changed this to a contrasting color for the hover. Where this is for the hover of the menu. Okay, so this is the new color that'll show up when the mouse is placed over the button. If you notice, there's like a rollover effect. When you put your mouse over the button, it turns gray. Okay, that's that color right there. That's the hover color. So we change that to something contrasting. And I change the border for the background to match the background color so it doesn't look funny. And now we have some more gradient stuff here. And this is actually the light gray gradient that is what shows up when you hover over it. If you it's hard to pretty much see it but this actual background has a gradient as well okay we already got rid of that one but now we're gonna get rid of the hover gradient okay so we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna get rid of everything down to there everything that has the gradient in it okay leave color okay but we're gonna get rid of everything that has linear gradient in it right there I'm going to go ahead and delete that. I'm going to leave color. Leave that alone. And right here, we've got to get rid of another filter. Because it has the same gradient in it. Okay. So we get rid of that. And now this is the list hover background. It's the same as it was for the menu hover. Okay, so we're going to get rid of all of that, because once again, here's that gradient, same exact gradient, linear gradient, so we're going to get all of this is going away, okay, delete that, and we're going to change these colors to, something contrasting. Once again, you can put whatever colors you want in there. Okay, and here we go. Got to take your time because we got another filter here. See, it has that same gradient in it. Bye bye. Okay, just like that. And let's see. We should be done. Let's refresh. Let's go ahead and save that file. Update your uh, CSS. Let's go back to the website. Now it's currently on the left with a gray gradient and a kind of a slight gradient on the background. Let's refresh the page. Okay, and now it's aligned on the right. I made the background orange and I made the hover color blue. Just for example but you can make this whatever you want. You can have whatever colors you want here to match your site. Background or kind of, you know, theme colors, button colors, whatever you you got going on on your website. Okay? So, I'm going to scroll back up here a little bit and we'll go over it just like one more time. And basically, I started at header menu primary we are editing the style sheet, style.css in the responsive WordPress theme. And again, a quick way to get there is once you open up the style CSS sheet, it's going to be at the top and you're looking for the header menu section. Press Control F and a window pops up and enter header menu and click find next and it takes you right to the section you need to edit okay once you're there we're going to change the background color get rid of the gradient okay I'm going to scroll down we're going to stop here and instead of letting it float left we're going to change that to float right okay and let's see 
we're going to change the list menu list hover everything in the menu section we're going to be modifying the colors okay and remember you're using contrasting colors so I have one color here and a different color here so you more than likely you're going to be using two colors and coordinating your menu okay and you can play around you probably make a mistake or two but don't worry about it you can always come back and change the color all right um, there's a lot of free tools out there to help you get the hexadecimal color code for the color that you're using um, so just do a Google search for web colors or uh, web color tool um, or a web color chart and you'll be able to get the hexadecimal color codes for whatever color you want okay so we then change the border color in this case I changed it to match the background color <coughs> and let's see we change the hover background color and got rid of the gradient on the background when the uh, mouse is hovered over the menu and we did the same for the rest of the background got rid of the linear gradient okay and we got rid of the filters on all of them okay and that's it here after that you're done go ahead and update your file and you can end up with your menu aligned on the right instead of on the left and with a different color background when you hover okay so I hope this helped I get a lot of questions about it <clears throat> it's relatively simple as long as you have a backup copy just feel free and fearless to go in and start playing with the code like I said you can pause the video rewind pause whatever you need to do um, the con control F shortcut is a very handy tool um, so I hope that is useful for you guys as well um, if you're wondering about this responsive theme here and the layout I got, um, you should watch my tutorial on uh, the homepage slider, Google search, and uh, call to action button. I've modified this featured content area, got rid of the two sections, put in a wide featured slider, modified the uh, call to action button, kept that, and centered everything, and also added a Google search uh, button to this uh, particular theme. Alright, so if you have any questions, feel free to send me an email, contact me through my website, mindvisionmedia.net. Thanks for tuning in to my tutorials and my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe or leave me some likes. Alright, till next time.